Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I've got two product reviews for you. First of all, I'm going to be reviewing the new lip products from Huda Beauty, the Faux Filler Lip Glosses. And the second one is the new Cloud Paint Bronzers from Glossier. I've had these for a while now, so it's going to be a very informed review. And I just wanted to share these with you because I know that currently Glossier have 20% off with their friends of Glossier. And they have 20% off on their website. So I thought this is as good a time as any to share my review with you. Before we get into it, just to let you know that I do post videos like this every week and I would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's get into some reviews. So I think we'll kick off by applying one of the Huda glosses and I would like to wear it while I show you the bronzers. I just want to get it on, first of all. <laughs> and number two, I actually just want to see how it feels, you know, for the duration of the video, you know, rather than just doing a quick first impression um, and then moving on. At least if I wear it for a good few minutes, it'll give me an idea of how it sits and how comfortable it is. So I picked up two shades. I picked up Bombshell and Sugar Baby. We're going to start with Bombshell. Now I bought this on launch day and I had a quick look when I was doing a little bit of research on the other shades last night and I'd noticed that Bombshell has pretty much sold out. Let's open it up and have a look at it. So here is the packaging. That's very pretty. And both of these shades, although they look very different, they're both described as a sheer pink. God, I can't get it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. That is very hard to get out. And I think because the dough foot, the applicator, it's quite wide. So here's what it looks like. So that's bombshell. And from what I read, the dough foot was designed to be able to pick up quite a generous amount of product in one go. So you don't have to keep dipping in. So let's have a look at what it says about this lip gloss. So it says that it smooths and blurs fine lines, having a lip filler effect without a tingling sensation. I don't think it's designed to be a lip plumper. It states that it's a lip filler because it's supposed to fill in your lines. And I do have, you know, fine lines on my lips. You know, I'm nearly 42. This is a lip hydrating formula that melts into lips with a non-stick reflective glass-like finish. And it's packed with lip loving active ingredients like vitamin E and infused with vegan collagen for comfort coverage that moisturizes lips while plant-derived melted waxes create a rich formula that gives the gloss a cushion-like texture and multi-dimensional shine. So this is Bombshell. Let's have a look at Sugar Baby. Sugar Baby looks a lot more sheer. So Bombshell and Sugar Baby. So they're the two. They look so good. Oh, it smells beautiful. What smell is that? Okay, I need to find out what that smell is. It smells gorgeous. Okay. Okay, it glides. That's nice. <gasps> that feels beautiful. I look funny because I've got no bronzer and blush on. That feels really gorgeous. Let's, let's just have a close look at Bombshell. That really has <laughs> filled in my lip lines, hasn't it? And I have tons of lip glosses, but I've never really had a lip gloss that has done this before. And although I have relatively small lips, um, I mean, they're not the thinnest in the world, but they're definitely not big, you know, they're definitely not plump. It definitely makes me look like I've got bigger lips than what I do. This looks, just looks super flawless. Let's do what I always do, and that's a sticky test. No, just the same as any other gloss. And I think I forgot to mention the price, but the price of the Huda lip glosses are 18 pounds sterling and you get 3.9 mil for that. And I think that's actually quite a decent price for a high-end brand. I'm going to apply some of the bronzers, the Glossier bronzers to show you. 
And then once I've done that, I'll take this off my lips and we'll pop the other shade, which is Sugar Baby on. Okay, so I picked up two shades of the new Glossier Bronzer Cloud Paint. I picked up Dune and I picked up Coast. So these bronzers retail for £22 sterling. I wanted to include the Glossier bronzers because there is a 20% sale on on Glossier now. They have, um, it's called the Friends of Glossier. I'm not affiliated with that in any way, but I think if you are thinking about picking up something from Glossier, now's the time to do it. I think the sale is on until uh, St. Patrick's Day, which is the 17th of March. I think they have about five shades of the bronzer. They have a mixture of neutral and warm toned bronzers. I would prefer my contour to be a bit more neutral or cool, and I would prefer my bronzers to be warmer, but I've, I've included swatches against all of my cream bronzers. Well, not all of my cream bronzers, but a good sample of my cream bronzers so that you can have a look at these shades in comparison. So this isn't the only swatch that you're going to see of the two that I picked up. Can I just say, I feel like the lip gloss is gathering. I'm gonna be aware of that now. Dune here, which is the lighter of the two, and that's described as a golden tan. And then we have Coast here, which is described as a golden bronze. So as I said, they are not the only swatches you will see. I have included pictures with a flash and without, which I will include at the end of the video. I think the easiest thing to do and the quickest thing to do is to just do Dune on one side and do Coast on the other. I'm just going to pop Dune into the palm of my hand uh, like this. And I'm just going to, do you know what? I'll, sh I'll show it you on my face. So I'll pick it up and I'll just dot it. Obviously I've been using it, so I know that I can use a generous amount because it is very sheer. So I'm just taking a Real Techniques, I think it's a bronzer brush, it's, it's rubbed off. <laughs> we'll just blend up. And you see how sheer that is? It really, you can use so much of this. Next time I'm just going to dip in um, I just wanted you to see it. So, see, it's just really, really natural and really, really sheer. So I'll just put a bit of bit of bronzer on my forehead up there. Just, just gives a really like minimal warmth to the skin. Okay, can I just say I keep getting this lip gloss on my teeth. So if I'm talking now with the lip gloss on my teeth. I don't know it's there. <laughs> I will say that the one thing that I do not like about these is the packaging, but I feel like that with all of the cloud paint packaging. Liquid anything can be a bit tricky to work with, right? But I think liquid products like bronzers and blushes, because you struggle to control how much you're dispensing, you know, sometimes I've dispensed way too much product and I've lost product because of that reason. These are fairly forgiving in the fact that they're quite sheer. So honestly, you don't need to worry too much about going crazy because you can save these. They're very similar to, um, you know, the NARS, the NARS blushes, the Afterglow blushes, you know, they're very buildable, but they're just, you know, they, they will forgive you if you go a bit, a bit too overboard. I'm just gonna pop Coast on the other side, keep checking my teeth. And we're just going to, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm just going to tap. Obviously, you can see that because it's darker, it is, you know, it's showing up a little bit more, but look at how natural that is. Just barely there. Now, obviously, that is... That is not for everybody. You know, you're not, not everybody wants to have, you know, a barely there look. They want that pigment and they want the coverage. Glossier, it is what it is. Like that's, that is, that's who they are. Really, really pretty. And I don't think you can massively tell I've got two different bronzers on there. So as I said, I have been using these bronzers for a while now, and I will say that I really love them. I think there's a time and a place for them. So I think 
you know, when it comes to Glossier. Sometimes they can surprise you and I wasn't sure what I was going to get with these. I did think that they would be like their cloud paint blushes and they are, they really are. They're very, very sheer, but they're very, very buildable as well. Like you can use as little or as much as you want. And I think if you are the same age as me, I think they're really, really flattering on mature skin because they're not going to emphasize lines. They're not going to emphasize texture. They feel really hydrating. They're a really, really nice formula. Like I said, the only thing I don't like is the packaging, but I can forgive that. That's okay. Okay, Glossier, we'll forgive you for the packaging, but the, the lid is fiddly. I do think that this bronzer would be absolutely perfect for summer. You know, if you're on holiday, I know some people don't like to wear a lot of makeup on holiday, but they like to wear some, and I think that you would be interested in these if that if that sounds like you. Can I just say about this lip gloss, this is why I wanted to wear it. Can you see how it's gathering? I'm wondering if it's because I've put too much on. Right, let me just pop some blush on. I actually picked up a new shade of the blush, so I may as well show you this. And this is in the shade Puff, which is a cool toned pink. Look at her, it's very, very pretty. I just love blushes like this that are really lightweight, really sheer, like blend to nothing. Uh, when I, I don't mean nothing, I don't mean like there's nothing left. But you know that they just, just take no effort and no work. I think if you were considering picking anything up from Glossier, the Cloud Paints, blush and the bronzer, they're really, really pretty. And on my char skin, they look brilliant. Um, but I just want to talk about my first impressions of the lip gloss. I keep noticing that it's transferring to my teeth quite a lot, which I think is very noticeable with the shade Bombshell. And I don't know whether it's because I applied too much, maybe I did. I found that as I'm talking, it, it is gathering in the corners of my mouth, which doesn't feel nice. So I'm going to remove Bombshell. It looks stunning. Like I can't actually believe how beautiful it looks on the lips. But there's no point in it looking beautiful. It's going to gather in the corners of the mouth. So, um, but maybe it's because I put too much on. So let's go in with Sugar Baby. And again, this is Sugar Baby. Um, if you have just jumped to Sugar Baby, if you rewind a little bit, you'll be able to see the hand swatch of Sugar Baby. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've just wiped off the doe foot and I'm going to put a really small amount on. Obviously, the more product you put on, the more it's going to stick and, and kind of gloop up. I and mean, nobody wants that. Oh, God, I can't tell you how much I love the smell of these. That's really beautiful, isn't it? I'm just going handy. Put a tiny amount on there. And there still is a little bit of tackiness, but I think, you know, it's a gloss. <laughs> All glosses are like that. I, I don't think I've ever used a gloss that hasn't been a little bit tacky. I just want to see how this sits and whether it does gather in the corners of my mouth again, uh, because I only had the bombshell on for about 15, 20 minutes, and I, it really did gather and it really did transfer to my teeth as well. But let's look at the positives, first of all, of this lip gloss. Really pretty and it really does fill out all of those lines and that's why it's called filler don't expect this to be a plumping gloss it's not there's no tingling there's no plumping effect it's called filler because it fills in those lines on your lips so I think if we take a look at the Huda lip glosses first of all they look absolutely stunning they do what they say they're going to do they give a high glossy glassy lip that fills in all of your lip lines. It does look absolutely flawless. It, one thing I will say is that it does tend to gather in the corners of my mouth. I don't know whether it's just me. It does easily transfer to your teeth. <laughs> you need to just go really handy with the amount of product that you put on. You know, if you have mature lips like me, I think you might enjoy these. However, do go handy 
with how much you're applying. You know, just don't apply too much because it can get a little bit icky if you do. You know, I find myself saying this about lip glosses, but it, you know, I can still feel it on my lips. Like it's not weightless. Um, so don't expect it to be. It's a lovely gloss. It does what it says. It's glassy, fills in those lines and gives a really high, beautiful shine. But beware about how much you're putting on because it can get a little bit icky if you apply too much. Beautiful colours though. I think, I think I like them both, but I think Bombshell. Yeah, Bombshell is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful. And the Glossier Bronzers, one of my favourite purchases that I've made recently. They're really, really pretty, really nice formula, and I think really nice for more mature skin. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I so appreciate you being here with me. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one. But until then, take care and bye for now.